this evening. Let's not mock them. Not their curtsies, their cross garters, their ever recurring pepper trees in their gardens. <laughs> promising, promising. At least they had ideas about love. All day we've driven past cornfields, past cows poking their heads, through metal contraptions to eat. We followed West 84, and what else? Irrigation sprinklers fly past us. Huge wooden spools in the fields. Lounging sheep, telephone wires, yellow flowering shrubs. Before us, above us, the clouds swell, layers of them. The violet underneath of clouds. Every idea I have is nostalgia. Look up. There is the sky. The passenger pigeons darkened and filled. Darkened for days. Eclipsing sun. Eclipsing all of their sound with the thunder of their wings. And after a while, it must have seemed that they followed not instinct or pattern, but one another. And when they stopped, Audubon observed. They broke the limbs of the stout trees by the weight of their numbers. And when we stop, we'll follow what? Our hearts? The Puritans thought we were granted the ability to love only for miracle, but the Trahabadors knew how to burn themselves through, how to make themselves shrine in their own spectacular. Spectacular was never behind them. Think of those days as scarlet breasted bluing birds flew above us. Think of me in the garden humming quietly to myself in my blue dress. A blue dark enough for clouds. For cloudless. At what point is something gone? Completely. The last of the sunlight is disappearing even as it swells. Just for this evening, won't you put me for you, till I am far enough away you can believe in me. Then try, try to come closer, my wonderful and less than.